Mother always swore she would never have another child when I was born so sickly. It wasn't until she had my healthy baby brother that I saw her smile for the first time as she kissed my forehead and said, Now we can fix you, my sweet boy. Mom, Santa Claus is coming, I can see him. My daughter exclaimed from the window, where she had been peering out into the dim, wintry evening. I nervously smiled at her, and reached for my phone with trembling hands, as we were promised that nobody knew the location of this safe house. We threw his daughter into the volcano, but the gods rejected our sacrifice. I don't understand. The farmer said she had never seen a boy her whole life. They don't tell you that the worst part of the job is the smell. After all the years I've worked and all the people I wasn't able to save, I can't enjoy a barbecue or a fire pit, can't go camping, can't have a fucking s'more without thinking of their burning bodies. I showed my new girlfriend my collection of vintage milk cartons, the final edition boasting her school picture. I've spent weeks explaining to her that it's safer than keeping trophies, but all she does is scream and cry instead of being flattered. After a long and tiresome struggle to escape the fire, he was happy that he managed to save his family and finally find refuge in the mountains. Glancing back at the engulfed city, he saw his wife, her crystalline form forever trapped in silent horror. Mama said we were digging for treasure, but all I've found so far is dirt and clay. The soldiers are making the whole village dig the same hole, so whatever it is must be huge. Stop that, I yell, simultaneously laughing and horrified at my best friend pretending to drop a large rock over the overpass rail. Next thing I know, time is standing still, and we are helpless to do anything but watch it crash through the windshield of the oncoming minivan. My diabetic girlfriend was lying unconscious on the floor with her blood sugar alarm flashing G, hypoglycemia. I pulled out her insulin pen and emptied the pen into her leg to wake her up. We have to wait until Christmas Eve to put baby Jesus in the manger, sweetheart. I reminded my daughter as she played with the doll at the kitchen table, sipping my coffee and feeling thankful that both of the kids had finally slept through the night. Oh, I thought it looked too empty, so I put my baby brother in there last night, she replied absentmindedly, as the snow continued to fall on the nativity scene outside in our front yard. It was Christmas Eve, and the sound of boots could be heard up on the roof. Little Anne Frank laid down her diary and began to weep. I chuckled at my son's attempt to catch Santa with a clever kitchen trap. Amusement turned to horror as I gasped for breath, realizing too late that the milk and cookies left out for him held something far more sinister than festive cheer. So do you want me or my little sister? She pouted, flaunting herself to the two males. Death sighed and said, I'm here for your sister. Satan is here for you, after what you have done. You were speeding before you crashed two days ago. I explained to the reckless driver, who had finally woken up. I was hurrying home to breastfeed my son, she sobbed. When I went down to the basement and saw a desperate-looking family, I knew I had to report my father to the police. Hiding Jews was against the law, and my father needed to be punished. Entering a Minecraft cave, the cacophony of spider noises made my unease go wild. A sudden scratch on my leg intensified the sensation as I discovered my game had been muted all along. The teacher looked confused as the children motioned frantically about the man crawling out the closet behind her. Too bad she muted all the kids so they wouldn't talk over her story. My husband cheated on me with his online girlfriend and flew to a small island country to visit her. Ten years later, as I happen upon the island in a cruise ship, I hear a delicious, intoxicating female voice and start to realize why my husband never came back. Today, I finally decided to talk to my mom about my biggest secret. I probably didn't phrase it well since now we're hugging. 
She thinks I'm gay, and I'm still not sure what to do with the dead man in my basement. When they're skinny and ask for a Diet Coke, I always give them regular. My trainer told me on my first shift as a waitress. When the patron slumped out of their chair, I gasped in horror knowing the nearest hospital was 50 miles away, and no one could access the patron's insulin pump. I comfort my wife at her twin sister's funeral as she cries into my shoulder. I'm being generous allowing her near me because I know how much my real wife hated her sister. Yes, my sweet. Mommy's bun just needed double the time in the oven, I explained to my toddler. From the other room, I watched with glee as she carefully put her premature baby brother in the hot oven. A wonderful relief flooding over me now that I would be rid of the little headache, and with plausible deniability. It's been a fun year since I swapped bodies with my classmate and lived her life as the most popular girl in the class. Although I still think back to what she did when I told her that I can't undo the spell. His girlfriend said, My grandfather actually lived through the Holocaust, so he loves meeting young Jewish people and sharing his story. He took another sip of the tea she had prepared, but started to doze long before the withered old man in Nazi regalia had even hobbled into the room. The joyous chaos surrounding my third birthday celebration allowed me to blend in and explore the backyard without being seen. Later, they found me in the pool, my tiny hands still reaching for the surface, oblivious to the candles flickering above. I was so confused to see my ex-boyfriend rushing towards me with a cup. It only took a second for my skin to begin melting as he ran away laughing. The gun was in my mouth, but with tears streaming down my face, sobbing uncontrollably. I just couldn't pull the trigger. I wish I would have chickened out before the murder instead of the suicide. Hey, what the hell? What the hell was that? My new friend shrieked after I laughingly smeared shit all over his cheek. I don't know why he's getting all dramatic, gasping and collapsing to the ground. It was just some freaking peanut butter. Leaving my car with its hazard lights blinking, I rushed into the bakery for a brief moment to grab a bagel. As I left the bakery, my breath caught in my throat when I found an empty parking space with no sign of my car or my daughter, who was sleeping in the back seat. I reluctantly agreed to this new thing my partner was so eager for me to try. A few hours later, sitting in the ER, feeling tiny claws scrabbling in my lower intestines, I don't know what I'm going to tell the doctor. How could you have done that to our child? Screamed my boyfriend, holding my medical records in one hand and a gun in the other. He pulled the trigger before I had the chance to explain that spontaneous abortion was just the medical term for a miscarriage. Parents must surrender custody of all children who fail to meet developmental standards by the age of three. With the ongoing organ crisis, these children will serve as valuable donors for the productive members of society. I've always been a bit dreamy as a kid, so my parents taught me how to reality check and therefore always know whether I was awake or dreaming. But as I weep, my teeth chattering with terror as I stare up the looming monster approaching me, I keep counting my fingers, and I still have the correct amount. I don't know what terrifies me more. That I had to eat the body, or that the taste of human flesh reminded me of my grandmother's cooking. In exchange for wealth and power, I offered the demon my firstborn child. It was such a tragic loss for the family that adopted him. My Tinder date asked if she could bring along her sister for double the fun. But I declined, saying I only had time in my life for a relationship with one woman. The date ended up being awkward anyway, since I couldn't stop staring at the bloody stump covered in bandages on her right shoulder. It's not true that your pet cat will eat your face off when you're dead if they are hungry enough. As I lay on the kitchen floor, paralyzed after a fall, my recently fed feline didn't even wait until I was dead. P. 
People declared it a Christmas miracle, when the festive colored liquid coming out of our taps tasted like candy canes, gingerbread, and joy. Investigating the incident, authorities found floating in the town's water supply, the headless corpse of an unidentified male dressed in a Santa suit, whose bloated body quivered like a bowl full of jelly. Everyone thought I was crazy for selling the immortality elixir I invented at such a low price of $5 per bottle. But I'll more than make up for it when I sell the antidote for half a million dollar per bottle. I was confused this morning when I saw you all no longer deserve them, spelled out by clouds in the sky. But the frantic calls of pet owners, absence of buzzing insects, and distinct lack of birdsong outside quickly clued me into what that meant. For the longest time, us prisoners would be severely punished if we were found in possession of crude weapons like sharpened toothbrushes. So I was horrified to find out why the guards were now handing out weapons to us, and no longer afraid of us. I can't anymore. I'm done. The boy sobbed, leaning heavily against the shovel. Ah oh, well, the wolves won't complain, the soldier said, raising his gun. As the drummer slipped a note into my pocket, the other members of the band dragged my intoxicated self into the car with the engine running idly. The last thing I remember was the hose coming in through the window, and their excitement about how the tribute tour was going to drastically improve the lackluster sale of our latest album. My friend showed me an ultra-realistic horror movie. I was enjoying it until I recognized that my neighbor's missing daughter was on the screen, begging for mercy. I sliced into my arm to see if my experiments in human regeneration had finally succeeded, and was ecstatic when the cut sealed and the skin reformed immediately. But as each drop of blood that had fallen from the wound began expanding, forming a layer of flesh around it, I realized I may have miscalculated. The baby monitor crackled as my newborn finally stopped crying. Let the firefighters do their job. There's nothing you can do the officer said. Don't be a bitch, it's New Year. My friends scoffed at me. The tray made it to me, and I ripped my first ever line of cocaine, just as my friend that started us off slumped to the floor with blue lips and foam at his mouth. My young nephew ran frantically into the farmhouse, distraught that he couldn't find his daddy, who he said was with him just a minute ago. When I asked him where the last place he saw his dad was, he pointed to the grain silo, and my heart immediately sank. In her final moments, all she did was cry out for her daddy. It's always him. Always her fucking daddy. I thought to myself, before I silenced her forever. Do you want to share any good makeup tips? asked one of the judges to the winner of the pageant. If it is purple, use a yellow-tinted product, and if it's healing and looks yellowish, use a peach-toned product, the little girl replied. The first AI robot to go rogue resulted in over 1,000 human losses before we managed to stop it days later. The world was shocked when watching the events unfold, but even more so when we worked out it was only just a distraction. I was a newly hired 911 operator, and I just hanged up on someone. I told them they got the wrong number because they asked for a pizza. Landing in the desolate wasteland of Earth One, I stumbled upon a mysterious relic covered in rust. Intrigued, I brought it to our facility, where this alien device bearing the inscription Millennium Camera revealed a faint negative of a colossal explosion capturing the apocalyptic event that obviously erased all traces of life centuries ago. My three-year-old came to me with a sad look in his eyes and said, Why didn't you want me before? A chill ran down my spine as I recalled the abortion I had five years ago. With my only two options being either to kill 50% of everyone instantly, or a 50% chance to kill everyone instantly, I decided to choose the former. 
It has been three days. Nothing changed in the world. We'll have to eat penguin meat for now, our captain said, handing us bowls of stew with meat he had scavenged from the frozen wasteland where we were stranded. With how hungry we were, it took us a while to remember we were stuck in the North Pole and realize we never actually saw the bodies of our crewmates who supposedly died this morning. I saw my boyfriend looking up wedding bands. So when he was cooking, I told him, I know what you did. The next thing I knew, I was tied up in the attic and he whispered to me, You shouldn't have looked in the basement. Thanks to your dedication, we doubled our profits this past year. So in lieu of a bonus, we're throwing a company party. In lieu of a suicide note, he staples that obtuse fucking holiday card, his meager pay stub, and his medical bills in one stack. After running out of rations, I was dismayed to see that the wolves had eviscerated the polar bear and left almost nothing edible. Fortunately, they don't seem to have touched the liver at all. I have been a Catholic all my life and followed all the rules to the letter. Why won't you let me to the gates? In the eyes of the Lord, you are only a filthy heathen who did a lot of trespassing in churches because your baptism wasn't done properly. At first, I thought it was going to be death by a thousand cuts, but then they buried me neck deep beside an ancient gnarled tree. As the first root tenderly pierced my skin, I realized the tree was starting its slow, merciless feast. My husband visited me in prison every week with new photos of our children. There was no better reminder to keep my mouth shut. Forgive me for those I have murdered. I was normal once, the mass shooter wrote before blowing his brains out. The coroner raised an eyebrow over the corpse on the table. There was a massive tumor in the orbifrontal cortex. They beat me and left my corpse to rot with the word repent carved into my chest. I had come back to earth with open arms, just as I promised I would. Yet those who claimed they loved me the most were the least likely to believe me. I slipped in my bathroom one day, banging my head so hard that I lost consciousness. When I observed my landlord undress in front of my floating corpse, I knew I wanted to stay in this rundown building. A guy just ran up to me while screaming that somebody had locked him in a basement, blindfolded him, and starved him for days. You should have seen the look of absolute horror on his face when he recognized my voice. We'd found a body by the side of the road, a genetic match to the identical body we'd found yesterday. Then we discovered 26 more bodies, all genetically identical, with the same unusual scar above the nose. What's this, Dad? said my son, while I showed him photos from my youth. We called those trees. My son has had the flu for a week, and now he has diarrhea too, I relay to his pediatrician. After she asks if I've given him any medicine, her eyes widen as I draw the bottle of baby aspirin out of my purse. As a proud scientist, I ask the genie to know every single digit of P as my first wish. He looked confused, and I still don't understand why he said you can't encode infinite numbers in binary. I only want two kids, any more than that is unnecessary. My husband reassured me, and I smiled. My guilt melted away as his pregnant mistress crossed the street, and my foot pressed the pedal. Hey, it's me. The guy who lives in your walls and comes out to stare at you while you sleep. I've noticed the work you've been putting into self-improvement, and I'm very proud of you. I was forced to return to my homeland due to illness, but my friends and family had nothing but praise for how well I looked. They were completely unaware that I had to purge them all before the insidious plague could spread its darkness and consume the once glorious kingdom of Lord Aron. Combley Tower, Cessna 44TA, five miles to your east, 2100, inbound for landing, said the pilot into the radio, eyeing the strangely dark airport in the distance. There was a hiss of static before a man's voice hurriedly whispered, Hello, hello, I, 
I don't work here. I'm just hiding, but... But you can't... You can't land here because they killed everyone, and now they're eating them. All my life, my parents told me I was normal. But at 27, my first girlfriend confirmed I was not. When confronted, my parents finally confessed that yes, my circumcision had gone terribly wrong. Sharks will go deep before a hurricane. Birds will shelter before the strike of a sudden storm. And even street dogs will make for the high ground before a tsunami breaks land. Researchers have long known that animal behavior can predict large-scale disasters. So our working theory with the huge spike in animal suicides around the globe is that something big is coming, and it's not worth fleeing from. Mr. Lovecraft's arm jerked mechanically as he brought pen to paper. Tell them of our greatness, whispered the pulsating mass in his brain. Before I fell asleep, I couldn't stop thinking about how excited I was to have my first child. When I awoke, I felt an incredible pain in my stomach. My baby bump was gone, and I heard my husband with his family laughing in the dining room. The worst part of the outbreak wasn't watching many of my relatives, my friends, or even my wife die. It was that the fungus didn't block the connection between my brain and my taste buds. What if anesthesia doesn't actually put you to sleep? What if it just makes you forget? The new law was ironclad, and she was in clear violation. So the sentence of a public immolation was harsh, but fair in the eyes of the court. At least they let her hold her teddy bear as they lit the fire. Walking home from school through a quiet neighborhood, a dog suddenly charged at the fence, barking loudly causing me to instinctively jump away in shock. The world plunged into darkness, the last sound echoing in my ears, a jarring horn from a vehicle in the oncoming traffic. As I finished digging the hole in the backyard, I began to feel guilt for killing my wife over financial problems. However, when I went down to the basement to retrieve her body, my guilt morphed into confusion as I noticed the hole in her skull seemed to be smaller than it was before. I'm noticing my hands started shaking, just like grandma's when she fell ill. And I remember the outsiders that tried to prevent us from eating her body. I had wanted her for years, so when the stranger offered to modify her neural chip so she would never love anyone but me, I immediately agreed. Years later, when I walked in on her drowning our third child in the bath, I realized that the others hadn't been accidents either. I was humming joyfully as I helped my mother in the kitchen, meticulously slicing vegetables. My joy turned to fear when she told me to grab some meat from the freezer. Seeing that my baby had already fallen asleep in my arms, I decided to also take a nap as soon as I finished putting all the frozen foods I bought into the freezer. When I woke up, I realized that being a single mother had taken too much of a toll on my sleep schedule, as the water from the thawed bag of frozen fries dripped down my arm and chest. I had to lie to the doctor because my mom would totally kill me if she found out I got my belly button pierced. It was a close one, though. I think she almost saw it as I was climbing onto the MRI. After sex, I always feel guilty. It's difficult to continue the autopsy afterwards. I have to remind myself that I'm the only veterinarian in the city. These masks were adapted from torture devices and were used during the late 18th century to help people stay awake and pay attention during longer church sermons, said the tour guide, gesturing toward horrific looking face-like wire restraints. I couldn't help but notice they were all child-sized. You'll get all the money you want if you survive living in the last video game you played for a year. I realized a little too late that my body still requires sustenance, and there's nothing to eat or drink in here. My little sister found a tiny kitten near a nuclear power plant earlier, and being the animal lover she is, she brought it home. As my drunk dad storms into my room preparing to beat her for bringing the cat into the house, he realizes that cat is gone. 
but outside there is a beautiful, colossal, cat-like being, preparing to melt off his flesh for trying to hurt its new owner. Tonight at dinner, while I kept sobbing, Dad kept saying, you are not allowed to get up without eating your vegetables. Is it really my fault that our second child also has brain damage from birth? The existence of the uncanny valley in human perception implies there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't, I said, taking another sip from the glass. But that would have put evolutionary pressure on whatever hunted humans by aggressive mimicry to become more human-like and more charismatic, she replied with this genuinely adorable smirk. With desperation and confusion, I asked, if I followed the Bible perfectly, why am I being sent to hell? What the hell is a Bible? God responded. I'm told they all taste the same, just like M&M's. I do like Virgos the best, however. Daddy. My daughter squealed, running into my arms and giving me the biggest hug. I didn't feel one ounce of regret as I held her close, too happy to mind my lifeless body sitting a foot away. The killer crept undetected toward the happy family, as they watched a movie together on the couch. When they were found the next day, the police report noted that they all appeared to be sleeping peacefully. Today was the start of our health unit, and I began the lesson by teaching my students how to find each other's radial pulse. There's always more than a few kids who have trouble finding the sweet spot, so I wasn't surprised when I had to help. But I can't find Susan's pulse either. So your body count is seven lovers or victims? I jokingly asked my Tinder date as we entered his apartment. Both, he replied. What it's like to date a porn star? I saw the question on a Q&A platform. My girlfriend is blind, and she has no idea that she is a porn star, was my answer from my anonymous account. Oh no, my sister and I aren't actually conjoined twins. Our mother is just an excellent seamstress. As I was falling asleep for surgery, the lights got brighter. Then everything went black. All I remember is a voice saying, you aren't supposed to be here for another 25 years. Go back now, in a scared tone, as I woke up to the doctor doing CPR on me. I sighed as I cast the tie-breaking vote for us to resort to cannibalism in order to survive. Later that night, I cried, as everyone told me how tender and delicious my daughter was. Isn't it wonderful that we finally found a way to neutralize any country's nuclear weapons ending the doomsday clock once and for all? I asked excitedly as I saw the results of the final few tests. The needle plunged into my neck, and the last thing I ever heard was my assistant saying, Nyet. I can't believe we are having another baby girl, my wife exclaimed as she gripped my hand excitedly. Only the best for you, and this dish came highly recommended. I replied as the waiter brought the steaming platter to our table. Even at 30, I remember my mother's childhood advice vividly. Only fat girls eat every day. I whispered to myself as my heart beat slower and slower. As I relished the tranquility of Osaka's coastline, I couldn't help but marvel at the interplay between low and high tides. It's intriguing to note that the tide has consistently maintained a remarkably low level for quite some time now. There is one thing that almost everybody in this world gets wrong. They all falsely assume that pain stops with death. As the masked intruder lunged at me, my loyal dog leaped forward, biting off his finger and saving my life. Now, each night, as he refuses his kibble and watches me with a disturbing hunger, I realize he's developed a taste for something completely different. Due to a multi-car accident, my daughter urged me to take the remote mountainous roads back home. An hour later, I was confused when I saw her standing in the middle of the road with a shotgun aimed at my windshield. 
probe sent back 12 seconds of video from the afterlife, before it was utterly destroyed. 12 seconds which have now united humanity in a desperate search for immortality. Thought I'd take a quick five-minute shower while the wife ran to grab dinner and left our toddler at home, crying he wanted to go with her. I didn't realize how badly he wanted to go until I got out of the shower to a silent house with the front door left wide open. Knowing that my abuser would eventually kill me the moment I was trapped with them, I planned to silently ask for help the last chance I got. But as I saw our guests and my soon-to-be wife joke about the wedding topper, a groom being dragged by the bride, I realized no one would take me seriously. My dad told me that his flashlight could kill any monster. When I told him about what Uncle Jack had been doing to my sister, he made sure to demonstrate. I didn't understand his sexual attraction to me. I tried to tell his wife, but it's not like she could understand my barking. It was the first time that I was at peace after a lifetime of being in a vegetative state. The next thing I heard was, Doctor, we have a pulse. Your wife picked up your kids half an hour ago, sir. I rushed out so fast I didn't tell the school that I didn't have a wife. And I began to cry as I realized I was finally free of those filthy animals. Growing up, my father's favorite quote was, Family ain't blood. It's the folks that stick by you through thick and thin. I found out how much that meant when the looters broke through our barriers, and all he had to give was me. Everyone in the family expected me to fall apart after it was confirmed that our toddler was legally blind. I did my best to hide my relief as I thanked a lord that he didn't see what I did to his baby brother. In her voicemail, my wife said our only son had just been killed in a hit and run. As I stood there listening to her wail, my eyes remained fixed on the silhouette of the little boy standing in the hallway of our home. The entire course of World War IV was changed by the introduction of a new, terrifyingly destructive weapon nobody had ever seen the likes of before. When the arm of the wooden mechanism was released, it could propel stones literally hundreds of meters. Kill one child of your choice, or both will die, I say to the mother as I have to every other victim, awaiting the delight her despair will bring me. My blood went cold as she shot the daughter without a second thought. With fear and trepidation, the nurse handed me my beautiful newborn child. As the next missile began to bring down the hospital around us, I knew that this first kiss on their forehead was also going to be their last. I got drunk and felt incredibly sick this afternoon, spending four hours on the toilet, fighting the most intense pain I had ever felt in my life. But no one could have prepared me for the sight of the deceased infant upside down in the chamber after. The new hyperdrive worked by expanding a bubble of space-time at the speed of light behind the ship. After a few months of travel, however, we realized that Alpha Centauri wasn't getting any closer, despite our distance from Earth increasing at the speed of light. I run a big game reserve where hunters can come and do some canned hunting for sport. It's not until they arrive at the park that they realize that they are not the hunters. As I was reminiscing about how the fortune teller told me that I was going to die because of a car accident, I was so paranoid about it that I never left my home. Until I realized in my final moment that the reason I slipped and hit the corner of the table was because of a toy car my nephew was playing with. I went in my grandparents' attic, found a chessboard perfectly set up, and decided to move a piece. When I went back in there the next day, the opponent's piece was moved. My conjoined twin and I share the same body from waist down. It's my body too. You're free to do the same, she said, after they did it without my consent. I feel his hand caress my back, his lips meeting mine as he whispers, Don't worry, I'll always be there for you. It happens every night on the anniversary of his passing. 
I waited in the darkness, as my seven siblings and I were trapped in a room for many years. Then suddenly, I heard someone on the other side of the door say, I wonder why Zeus gifted me this if I'm not even allowed to open it. I scoffed as my Tinder date saw her boyfriend's Apple Watch location icon outside her flat. You don't understand, she replied. We buried him last Wednesday. Though I managed to keep my unsettled stomach down during the flight home from South America, as soon as I got out of the airport, I threw up. When I saw only shredded scraps of the numerous balloons, however, I knew I was as good as already dead. As the sirens went off, my son's face lit up with a smile yelling, Daddy, fire truck! I saw the dozens of missiles fly above us. I got down and forced a smile through my tears and replied, Yes, son, the fire truck is coming. I was excited when the priest said today would be the most incredible communion we've ever had. That's why I'm not upset that my mom was so nervous she drank my juice too. Ouch, babe, your nails please, not so tight, said Mark as he waltzed with the ghost of his recently deceased girlfriend, not caring how or why the haunted house would bring her back. In the bowels of the musty ballroom, Mark danced alone, each of his hands gripping the end of a spool of razor wire, which was slowly encasing him with every turn. I got a call from my father that my mom passed away today. But who am I living with? Projectiles whizzed across the shopping center, tearing glass and garments into pieces. Amidst the pandemonium, the frantic crowd didn't even notice the bleeding dolls in the child store. Leaning across the signed documents, my mother held my hand, saying, No matter what I do or say, from now on you have to do what's best for the family and community. Five years later, holding her car keys in my hand, I sobbed against the locked door of the memory care unit, hearing her scream and curse my name from the other side. After two years of constant struggle and sleepless nights trying to stand out from the crowd, I decided to leave this platform for good. He wrote just before plunging into the ocean. I made a suicide pact with my friend from childhood, and we both sat together as we died. The police only found my body. We decided not to rescue all the miners from the collapsed mine. Since the media was there, we decided to leave the miners inside. Before I died, I felt comforted by the fact that there is no sadness in heaven. But now, as I learned that my loved ones were damned, no matter how hard I try, all I can do is smile. Looking at the man dying in my arms, I remember all the warnings people gave about immortality. They never mentioned that eventually. You'd notice that you've grown numb to others' deaths. I gripped the diamond ring with my left hand and the grenade's pin with my right. Whatever her answer, we'll be spending the rest of our lives together. <laughs>